Hello, welcome to Food Basket. Today we are going to prepare a fish mapas. We are going to use the Indian goat fish or red mule. We are going to use coconut milk in the gravy. Let us see how to prepare Indian goat fish mapas. Here I have taken 500 grams of the Indian goat fish or red mule. I have cleaned it well, washed it several times, washed it with salt. Then I have taken 17 small shallots, a 1 inch piece of ginger, 7 cloves of garlic, 2 green chilli and a few curry leaves. Let us transfer the ginger, garlic, shallots and green chilli to a mixi jar. Let us add 2 teaspoon red chilli powder, 3 by 4 teaspoon pepper powder. Let us grind it to a paste with a little water. Let us add 2 teaspoon coriander powder. Let us grind it again. Let us add half teaspoon turmeric powder and salt to the fish. Let us add half of the masala paste. Let us mix it well. Let us cover and keep for 30 minutes. Then I have taken one fourth of a coconut grated. Let us grind it to a paste and extract half cup thick coconut milk and one cup thin coconut milk. Then I have taken an onion and a tomato. I have chopped them fine. Let us heat a pan. Let us add three tablespoon coconut oil. Let us add the fish pieces. Let us turn the pieces. Let us turn them again. Let us fry the fish a little bit on both sides.
The fish is lightly fried on both sides. It is half cooked now. Let us turn off the gas. Now we'll cook the fish in the gravy. Let us heat an earthen pot. Let us add two tablespoons coconut oil. Let us add the chopped onion. The onion is turning a light brown. Let us add the chopped tomato. The tomato is well fried now. Let us add the remaining masala paste. Let us add the curry leaves. The masala is well fried now. Let us add a little water into the mixi jar. Let us pour it here. Let us add the thin coconut milk. Let us add a little more water. The fish pieces should be submerged in the gravy. Let us add a little more salt. Let us add a pinch of roasted and powdered fenugreek seeds. We could have added it when sorting the onions also. The curry has come to a good boil. Let us add the fish pieces. The curry is boiling again. Let us reduce the flame. Let us cover and cook. Every three to four minutes, let us open it and stir it. Let us take care the curry does not stick to the bottom of the pot. Fifteen minutes are over. Now let us open it and cook. Let the gravy thicken. The gravy is sufficiently thick now. Let us pour the thick coconut milk. The curry is coming to a boil. This is sufficient. Let us turn off the gas. Indian goat fish mappas is now ready. Let us transfer it to a serving bowl.
Hope you like the Indian goat fish mappas preparation. Definitely try it out. Send me your feedback. Thank you. Come again. Goodbye.